Hey guys, it's Anne over at Plant Obsessed, and we are going to look in on the lasagna bin. It has been a super long time since we've done that. I just took the covering over it. You can see I've got all kinds of little critters living in here. No idea what all is going on. You can see that it's actually made like a mold crust on the top. Not that it's bothering anybody, but uh, let me get you put up here. And we'll start digging in and seeing what we've got. Kind of moved this top layer. It's weird. Kind of gelled. It's just had cardboard over the top of it. Again, with me traveling so much before everything hit the fan. Um, I don't know how long it's been. Ooh, okay. That's an apple. So, well, at least we know they haven't been starving to death. Uh, I loaded them up good before I left to travel. Um, now here's an example of a whole bunch of coffee grounds and there's no springtails in them. All right, so kind of peeling back the lasagna layers, this whole top layer Whatever there was to it is is gone. The cardboard is just, it's gone. <laughs> there is no top layer to the lasagna right now. It's that weird crust on top. So we're gonna have to dig a little bit to get to the lasagna. All right, so we've got that apple we found. And then, let's see, there's another apple. Got some worms enjoying the apple there. Pulling back the, the cardboard. I was going to take a little bit more muscle. I'm going to use both hands. But this this here is is pretty much how I, why I started the lasagna bin, was to make it a good um, conducive area for them to breed and hang out. Um, that would stay nice and moist. And they do uh, like it. I don't think it's at all necessary. Obviously, this is the only bin I run this way. But I just keep it going. Just as an alternate. It's pretty wet down there at the bottom. But the cardboard has uh, soaked it all up. Kind of see if I can't put them back kind of delicately. You can see they haven't gotten into all of the, the layers of the cardboard. This was a thick Amazon box, like what dog food comes in. But I got them very loaded, full of food. None of this smells bad at all. But I made sure that they had a lot of food and that everything was probably way wetter than I wanted it to be because I was afraid that being gone for almost a month in the winter would uh, be a death sentence if things got wet. So... Um, so the moisture, I still think is a, it's a good level here. It's not, you can kind of hear me squish it a little bit. It's not mucky at all. So I'm really kind of pleased with the, the condition of the lasagna bin. As, like I said before, I was worried about all my bins getting too dry while I was gone. Um, so... I'm glad that the steps that I took were enough, which was to make sure they had lots of wet food, lots of bedding, and um, a good moisture barrier lid. So I'm going to keep, keep, I'm going to look at it from this, whoops, okay, that just broke apart. So let me move the camera. Look at the lasagna from this side. See if there's anything interesting going on. Looks like more of the same. The layers are still really nice and wet. Let's see if we break that apple and put that apple in that layer. Maybe we'll get a decent worm ball next time. Peel back on this side over here. But the worms look good and the bin is nice and flaky, not overly wet. 
again here down at let me I'm gonna have to move you again. It's just not gonna work having you. Come on over here. Let's have a look at this. So you can see that was a coffee layer, and they're totally fine. But I'm gonna take this apple and kind of squish it the best I can. Uh, after a month, if they would have been hungry, I'm sure they would have went after it more than they did. So we'll just put that there. It's getting awful. You know, it's it's still very full. It's uh, The reset wasn't too long ago. So um, I am going to feed them some of the watermelon, the gross watermelon that I found in a bucket in the basement. Uh, so I'm going to feed them that and then basically put another cardboard layer on top. So I am going to have to put you down for that. Sorry for the bumps. But I'm going to shoo everything over to the side here, make room for the food and for the new cardboard. Yeah, this was in a bin with some of the bedding. So it's going to get some paper bedding along with the, the goo. It's always goo with me. But there's a lot of watermelon juice in there soaked into that paper. So we're going to give them a, a lasagna noodle there. Cover it back up with its regular layer. Scoot this stuff over. Okay, it looks like that's the original layer there. And really, I know everybody's like, oh my god, that's the grossest thing ever. It doesn't smell that bad. It's not awesome, but it's certainly not the worst. Maybe it was because it was soaking in with leaves and, and paper bedding. I don't know. It wasn't that bad. All right, and then we'll give them some cardboard. Give them a noodle and cover them up with their regular layer and then I'm probably going to have to go find some more cardboard off camera or maybe I don't know I think I've got one more piece over here there all right that is the top of their lasagna for this time all right guys well that was a relatively quick but uh, give me a thumbs up if you like the video and click subscribe if you're not already a part of my worm family. And ring the little bell notification if you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it. Alright guys, thanks for hanging out with me and my worm lasagna. Everybody, have a good day.